Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. In this video, we are going to calculate the mid width at random heights of a tow wall. So in this video, we will going to answer these questions that how to calculate mid widths at random distances and random heights. Okay, we will also discuss what is tow wall and how to calculate slope per meter. So guys, this is going to be very simple, easy and fast. You are requested to watch complete video for better understanding of the topic. And if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates. So let's rush to our topic. So let us briefly define what is tow wall, its purpose and advantages. It is actually a low retaining wall. Tow wall is actually a type of a retaining wall which is lesser in height. Okay, the purpose is more or less the same as that of retaining wall. Tow walls are retaining structures designed to retain soil to a slope. Okay, to prevent it against sliding. Tow walls are used to bound soils between two different elevations. As you can see over here in these two pictures, slope is maintained between the points of two different elevations. Tow walls are constructed for landscaping, hillside farming and roadway over passes. So these are the purposes and importance of tow walls. Now let's proceed. Mid width calculation. Let us assume that we have a tow wall, the height of which is 3 meters, and the base of the retaining wall is equal to 2.7 meters. And the top width of tow wall is 0 0.6 meters. Now that we want to calculate the slope per meter, it's mean that the height of the retaining wall is too high. The concrete cannot be poured at once. You will have to make the farm work for each one meter or lesser than one meter because the it is the PCC concrete and for PCC concrete we will need to erect the farm work and farm work cannot be erected for more than one meter height and it is also not permissible to pour the concrete more than one meter height okay so what we will do we will calculate the height at each one meter which means that if we go upward at the height of one meter what will be this width so now let us calculate the slope per meter let it understand it in another way that if you want to erect the farm work and you give the farm work this angle okay so how will you calculate this angle because at sight you do not have any angle measuring devices so what we will do we will calculate this distance that how much tilt should be given to this farm work okay for this we are going to need a plumb bob okay if you release the plumb bob from the height of one meter and when it touches the ground this distance should be known to us which we are going to calculate for doing so we will deduct bottom width from top width okay as the bottom width is 2.7 and top width of retaining wall is 0 0.6 meters now if we look at the shape of the retaining wall which is trapezoid in shape if we split the diagram into two shapes it will be a one rectangle and another one is triangle okay as the top of the rectangle is 0 0.6 the bottom will also be equal to 0 0.6 meters now what will be this remaining distance this remaining distance will be equal to 2.1 meters if we subtract 0 0.6 from 2.7 meters we will get 2.1 meters now that we have calculated the base of the triangle the next step is slope is equal to 
2.1 is the base of the triangle and when dividing it by 3 which is the height of the toe wall okay we will get the slope per meter which is 0 0.7 meters so this distance should be equal to 0 0.7 meters or 70 meters the distance when you freely release the plumb bob from the height of 1 meter this distance should be equal to 0 0.7 or 70 centimeters i hope you are getting my point right let's proceed now let us calculate the weights at height of 1 meter so what will be this height at 1 meter and when we are erecting the farm work for pouring of concrete the distance that we have already calculated which is actually the slope per meter which is 0 0.7 meters or 70 centimeters so what will be the width at 1 meter for calculation we will subtract 0 0.7 which is slope per meter subtract the calculated slope 0 0.7 from the base of the retaining wall or toe wall you will get 2 meters so the width at 1 meter will be equal to 2 meters similarly if you want to calculate the width at 2 meters it will be equal to 2 minus 0 0.7 which is the slope per meter and 2 is now this base okay subtract 0 0.7 from this 2 meters you will get 1.3 meters which is the width at 2 meters okay now if you want to check or cross check that whether the procedure you have adopted for calculation of weights at random heights is correct or not this is going to be a cross check that is at 3 meters if you subtract 0 0.6 sorry 0 0.7 which is slope is from this width it should be equal to 0 0.6 which is 0 0.6 it's mean that the procedure which we have adopted for calculation of these weights is correct and all right let's proceed now let us calculate the weights at random heights let's suppose we will calculate the width at 0 0.5 meter height and width at 1.8 meter height for doing so as the slope is already calculated what we will do we will multiply slope with the height at which we want to calculate the width okay we will get a factor which is 0 0.35 now if you subtract 0 0.35 from the base of the toe wall it will be equal to 2.35 meters so at the height of 0 0.5 meters the width will be 2.35 meters now similarly if you want to calculate the width at 1.8 meter height we will use the same method which is by multiplying slope with 1.8 meters which is the height from the bottom of the or from the base of the toe wall we will get a factor which is 1.26 meters now by subtracting this from the base of the toe wall we will get the width at 1.8 meters which is 1.44 meters so that's how you can calculate the width at any random heights that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today